blowing up and up this magic with the gang we ball out it can get tragic all we got we gonna let you let you have it stuck in my ways think i need to change my habits what would you do if you were me and didn't have look in the mirror now i'm feeling like a savage tell my son i love him for him i'ma make it happen now my dreams reality not going back to back to you say that you proud of me, I'm mercy, back, what up, laughing. bro? Now I hit the scene, they like lights, camera action. Living in a dream, now my music, they be blasting. Step out, I'm a star, always in the latest fashion. Had to set the bar, bar try to catch me lacking. Bank account for my son, he won't have to struggle. You can see it in my eyes, all I do is hustle. They try to knock me off my feet, I'm ready to rumble. Felt like I ain't eight in weeks, working off the muscle. Oh yeah, oh my, we there's no lie, all you, all you can die Never wrong, they right I ain't changing my side Yeah, we in it for life yeah, yeah, we, 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 we magic With the gang, we ball out, it can't get tragic All we got, we gon' let you, let you have it Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits What would you do if you were me and didn't have Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen Now my dreams reality, not good you proud of me, I turn my back, you laugh Hey, how could you lie to my face? People claim that they be loyal, they be taking up space See my Roski lose his heart when he was fighting that case Took so many yells, I'm not going back to those days I'm a EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. We all know this community lives for its Packers, and the green and gold came out of the tunnel a short time ago, and it uh, was bro. loud. Uh, we are uh, ready for football so week, man. Uh, as the Packers get set to match up with the Baltimore Ravens. This is taken at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. They'll fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction. That leads to second down. On second and 12, Jackson. And a diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Every coach we ever talk to says to his team before the game, quick start, guys. Let's get out of the gate fast. <laughs> How about that? They took his lesson to heart, didn't they? They did exactly that. A nice diving catch here on the game's opening drive. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. So they'll come up first and ten now from the 33. Here's Jackson to throw. And this is incomplete. He was looking for Nick Boyle that time. But it's going to be second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 22-yard line. On first and 10, it's Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. From the gun, it's a run for Ingram. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. That good for 19 and a first down. 
And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was. Hey, I'm going to ask you, bro. Set up in front of him. If that continues, uh, it'll be a long time for those guys trying to play some defense. Power on power, but he's not going to get in. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They'll look to run with Ingram. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Ravens take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Tucker with the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the inline. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Yeah, sounds good with that. That's me. The first carry now for the BYU man. It's Shamal hey. Williams. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now the man from UTEP. This is Aaron Jones. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I'm gonna run you over. That's the end of the first quarter with the score. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Throwing now is Rodgers. And Adams has it complete. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. Now a first down carry by Jones. And a good pickup there. He gets about six up to midfield. On second down, it's Jones. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 31 yards there to first down. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to, but they didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, they created a big run. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Patrick on Wasor up to make the tackle. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And they'll get him down right around the 16. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. Eluding the pressure right. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. They're going to line up to go for this on fourth down. Rodgers stays on the field. Rodgers to throw for it on four. Oh, yeah. And the that D. is going to be incomplete. Yeah. Defensively, that's Earl Thomas, the all-pro safety, knocking it free. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure, you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in. But I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. 
episode of the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I don't want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. This is Ingram on first and 10. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. On second and seven, Jackson. That's into the hands of the tight end, Boyle. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 25-yard line. Here's Jackson. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Well, this has been a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said enough of that. Okay, they've moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from our end, and that's exactly what he did. To try again after the sack. Jackson, he's going to find his tight end, Boyle. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, there to make the grab as the Ravens push further out in front. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. This is fielded at the goal line. Partner, when I was in college, we used to have these things called game maxims that we did before every game. One of them said, press the kicking game, for here's where the breaks are made, is the area of hidden yardage. How about that return? Flipping the field, taking it past the 50, and getting things set up to start the series. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Earl Thomas in on the stop. This is Jones. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. The Packers are going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Now Rodgers. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. On third and long, it's Rodgers. He's got Adams on the hookup. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again, Rodgers. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. He's got the hook up to Lazard and able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 
That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or do they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and ten. A pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Now Williams. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. On first down, Jones. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Check 15. Check 15. Again, it's Jones. Ooh. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. They've been in the red zone three times in this game and have not scored a single point. Can they break through here on second and goal? They'll try and run. This is Williams. Mm -hmm. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. So they get pushed back to the 11. And here's second and goal. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. Rodgers now to throw. Got a man open. It's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. It's a six-yard touchdown pass as his guys are back within a single score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Second down six. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. From the 29, Jackson, they go screen. This is Ingram. He'll have a first down past the 40. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. They'll run on first down. Ingram, and not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. 
as usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Throwing on second down. Jackson. This will be caught by Brown. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Jackson. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And now offensively, it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. Back to the running game. It's Ingram. Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now Jackson steps away to his left. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 13-yard line. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. We're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Edwards now on first and ten. And he'll get this one down to about the ten-yard line. A gain of three, second down. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. A first throw for the backup, Griffin. Dancing to his left. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. Here's Jackson. Flush to his right. This will be caught at about the five. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll run for it. It's Edwards. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And that will force a turnover on downs. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Back to throw. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to oh, win this and see to put themselves in the right position. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Rodgers gives this to Jamal Williams. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. They'll look to throw. And his pass incomplete. 
He was unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. That's Stewart's running back complete. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Now the Packers are going to burn their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Push him back. Mike, 48. Hey, box truck, box truck. Back to throw, Rodgers. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. You, 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 you. 50. Hey, you block over here. Oh, yeah. Three nine, three nine, now Rodgers. That's caught by Geronimo Allison. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Thank you. 